Welcome back everyone. My name is Ryan. You're watching BroTuned. And today I have a special little video because last night I had a thought, how can I make my 177 brake barrel air rifle gain some more feet per second with basically no parts? I already did a spring upgrade to the 495 gun here in Canada. Now it's around 650 feet per second. And I'm going to see if I can get it up a little bit higher with the Crossman hollow points. They're basically a dome pellet with a hollow point on them. And I also wanted to check out and verify how the JB Weld piston mod was holding up. It's been about 10 years now and I haven't had that air rifle apart since. So I used my DIY spring compressor. I showed you guys how to build another video. I took the gun apart. I'll show you in this video. And checked everything out. Plus I modded it. I went from, I think it was like a point. 1.7 or 170 thou uh, port from the compression chamber to the barrel and I opened it up to 191 thou so basically around 20 thou opened up and let's see what happens because I haven't seen any videos of anyone else trying this so let's give it a go I'll edit in a little clip from the ballistics video just to get the velocity beforehand and compare it to what it is now this is the video right here Weighing in at 8.1 grains, it's not marked on the tin, and it's just a round nose with a little divot making it a hollow point. Let's see its terminal ballistics. 647.4. So we got 647.4 before the mod. Now I'll show you what the mod is and what we got after. So you use the spring compressor I showed you how to build in another video, link in description. Fully disassemble the rifle and then we're ready to do the mod. Here I have the compression chamber or the main part of the gun in a vise. I used a shirt because I don't have soft jaws. And I started at 177 drill bit and I drilled them out all the way up to point one nine one the port on this air rifle too is on about a 30 degree angle so it starts near the top and it leads towards the middle so don't drill straight or else you'll do something wrong follow the path that the, the port is already on here you can see the hole all bored out now and i have put a light in the side the piston enters from so you can see how big it is now and there's just a little bit of a burr on the outside of the hole that you have to file down or deburr with a tool. Other than that, you're ready to rock. So here's the piston of the Airhawk. The hole is still plugged, so that's perfect. Had no issue there. It's been probably close to 10 years now since I put the JB Weld in there for an upgrade. And today, I was just wondering what would happen if I opened up the port here. So I drilled it out a few steps. So it's 0 0.191 inches, I believe. So 191 thou. But it was a lot smaller before, so we'll see how that performs, see if we get an increase in power since we're not blowing air through such a small hole anymore. It's a little bit bigger. So it should technically flow a little bit more. And I cleaned up the, the face of it because there was a little burrs in that with the file set, jeweler's files, and my spring compressor to take the gun apart. I showed you in a different video from a long, long time ago. So I'll reassemble it and I'll take a couple shots through the crony and we'll compare it because I think it was around 680 feet a second. Uh, with regular Crossman dome pellets or hollow points, I guess. So we'll see what happens now. Crossman hollow point now with the bigger board out uh, air blowhole, I guess you could call it. Let's see what it shoots at now.
So we picked up about 40 feet per second by making that hole a little bit bigger. I have a bigger spring, so I'll try that and I'll make another video for next Sunday at 7 o'clock. See you all there. Take care, guys.